kids, Miss Kulkarni here. In this video, we will continue talking about matter and how matter changes. So basically, we are going to talk about chemical change and physical change. So what do you mean by physical changes? This change never changes the identity of the substance. It only changes the appearance. And many physical changes are actually easily reversible. What are some of the examples of physical change? You can think about bending, cutting, grinding. So in all these cases, the substance still remains more or less same. And what is a chemical change? This is a change which will transform, convert one or more substances into completely new different substances and of course there is some sort of chemical reaction that is involved in that too so what are some of the examples of chemical changes it could be burning it could be rotting it could be decaying and so on there could be many examples now, there are some important key indicators which will tell us if chemical reaction really took place or not. So, let's find out what are the answers for our key indicators. First of all, an unexpected change in heat energy is observed. Either the test tube or flask will get hotter or it will get colder. That's an indication of a chemical reaction. Sometimes there could be some bubbles coming out of your reaction and that could be because of a gas released. Then there could be unexpected color change from maybe colorless to blue or from blue to yellow and so on. Sometimes we might have clear liquids to begin with and we may end up having a precipitate. Then we also get sometimes unexpected mass change this tells you maybe something a new substance is formed or a gas is released also sometimes you get odor good or bad and of course we also get to see sometimes light in the form of fire so these key indicators help us decide if it is a chemical change or not okay here is a list of some changes and let's see if you can classify those correctly chewing food with the teeth this will be a physical change unless we consider saliva getting mixed up and actually digesting food so if you just think about mixture of food with saliva it will be physical then it comes breakdown of proteins into amino acids that's digestion process and that is definitely a chemical process Break down up carbohydrates into sugar again, that's digestion, so it will be chemical process. Churning of food caused by contraction of muscles involves of stomach. It is just mixing of food, so we can say it will be physical. Now, again, we are not talking about real digestion problem here. Then there is starch breakdown into simple components. This is we're talking about digestion, so it will be chemical process and this is food reacting with hydrochloric acid in stomach definitely that's a digestion process so it will be chemical process so in our body itself we have several physical and chemical processes that take place and of course in lab when we do experiment we always get to see physical and chemical changes guys i hope you enjoyed the video and i'll see you in next video until then, bye-bye.